Hey okay, students, um, in this clip we're going to be going over um, how to find the sum of uh, an arithmetic series. Uh, so let's um, write down the title of this lesson. Uh, it's going to be a review. Review on uh, the sum of uh, arithmetic arithmetic um, sequences, okay? The sum of arithmetic sequences are known as series, all right? So uh, let's recap the formula real quick. The formula for the sum of an arithmetic sequence, I mean, you're adding up n terms, uh, the sum of n terms, the sum of n terms n terms, let me rewrite my uh, terms, the sum of n terms of an arithmetic, arithmetic series is given by s sub n, which is the you know, sum, is equal to n over 2 times a1, the first term, plus the last term, a n. Okay? Alright, so let's take a look at the following example. Um, example 1. In example 1, uh, we're going to attempt to find the sum of uh, the following arithmetic sequence. So, find find the sum of the arithmetic of the series with the given information. And the given information here is um, is that a1 is equal to 3, a n is equal to 7, an is equal to 7, and um, an is equal to 7, and n equals 4, okay? Alright, so we're going to attempt to compute the sum of uh, the arithmetic uh, series uh, using this information, okay? So, Basically, what we know, we know this is a formula. We know what a1, a n, and n is, so we're just going to plug it in directly. So, f sub 4 basically means the sum of the first four terms, since n is 4, is given by 4 over 2 times 3 plus 7. Okay? 4 over 2 is 2, 2 times 3 plus 7 is 2 times 10, and then the answer is 20. Alright? And that's how you compute the sum of an arithmetic uh, series. All right, example two, uh, same thing, we're going to try and find the sum, but the information we have in this uh, problem is that uh, we have a1 equals 4, n equals 5, and d equals 3, okay? So we want to compute the sum. So we know that the sum formula s sub n is equal to n over 2 times a1 plus a n. All right, we're looking for the sum here. We know a1 and we know n, but we're missing a sub n. So we don't have enough information to use this formula. So in order to, to find what a sub n is, we need to resort to the other arithmetic sequence formula that we know, which is that a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 d. So this information can help us find what uh, a n is. All right, so let's plug in this detail and then find a n and then you can use this formula. All right, so a n is what we're looking for. a1 is 4 plus n minus 1, 5 minus 1 times the common difference of 3. a n equals 4 plus 5 minus 1 is 4 times 3. Okay, and a n equals 4 plus 12, and then a n equals 16. All right, so that's basically the nth term. All right, that's the nth term. So now we know the last term and the first term. 
We now know that um, an is equal to 16 these are what we just did over here so now we're going to plug in everything in here to find what a sum is all right so s s sub of 5 we know it's s sub 5 plus n is 5 equals 5 over 2 times 4 plus 16 all right so we're going to have 5 over 2 times 4 plus 16 is 20 over 1 multiply across you get 100 over 2 which is 50 all right so s of 5 equals 50 so that's the sum of the first five terms of the arithmetic series with this information all right so uh thanks for paying attention to this presentation um you can subscribe to my videos on YouTube and the collection of my clips can be found on mod.serve.com or mod.serve.blogspot.com.